liquid drop model of nucleus. Today we will see what liquid drop model is and what is the significance of liquid drop model of nucleus. So basically this model was put forth to, uh, to explain the properties of nucleus and nucleus as a whole. So the assumption, the basic assumption that was made was that nucleus was considered as a drop of a liquid. Now a drop of a liquid is, is being compared to nucleus as a whole. The credits goes to the scientist. Now let's see the similarities between a drop of a new drop of a liquid and a nucleus. In liquid, strong force of attraction called cohesive forces exist. That is between the uh, between the atoms, the cohesive force exists. Whereas when you go into the nucleus, the force of attraction that exists is nuclear force. Now the second similarity is liquid drop mod, liquid drop and nucleus both are spherical in shape. The third similarity is on heating the surface tension breaks and liquid evaporates. The process of evaporation happens and whereas when nucleus breaks it liberates energy and daughter nucleides are formed. So it has been observed that the radius r of the nucleus and its mass number a are related by the relation r is equal to r0 a raised to 1 by 3. Now r0 is a constant here. R is the radius of nucleus and A is the mass number. If we will remove the constant then we will put the proportionality sign and we will get R cube is directly proportional to A. This shows that the nuclear volume and mass have a constant ratio. And we will move to the second point that is the density of nucleus is constant and is independent of size. Similarly, when you will see in the liquid drop there also the density of liquid drop is constant and it is independent of size. The fission reaction of liquid drop and nucleus goes like this. Nucleus, a paranuclide breaks giving two daughter nucleides. Similarly, a liquid drop breaks giving tiny droplets. Now, this theory simply ex uh, aims at explaining the various properties of a nucleus. So let's see whether this theory was capable of put uh, cap capable of explaining what it wanted to. So there were various success and also limitations of this theory. Let's see them one by one. So when we we'll ask about success, then success, the first success is it explains the phenomenon of fission as we have seen earlier. Also, it successfully explained accurate cross-sections of a resonance reaction. It described compound nucleus and it predicted radi radioactive properties and explains al explained alpha, beta and gamma decay. So, scientists got uh, a brief uh, got some idea after studying uh, after studying this theory that is the liquid drop model of nucleus now let's see the limitations the limitations were it neglected the motions of individual nucleons since as i told it was just focusing on the nucleus as a whole the individual nucleons were neglected in this theory the second limitation was it was unable to explain enhanced binding energy of even z and even n nucleides which we call as magic number effect Third, it ignores nuclear spin, parity, magnetic moment effect. So these were some things that this theory was unable to explain and thus they are counted in its limitations. 